I don't think anything I'm about to say is revolutionary, but I was watching the anti-feminist versus feminist debate on middle ground and it finally hit me. The reason why we have so much trouble standing in solidarity with one another is because people have so much trouble seeing beyond themselves. I'm going to insert the clip of a little bit of the conversation that was going on that really triggered this conversation. Society has been forcing men to act strong and you're saying that a man isn't a good man if they're not strong and protector. I think that's bullshit. I think that a man is a man because they say they're a man. So I think the second we start to say men are acting feminine and women are acting masculine, that is so problematic. You, if you're a little bit more flamboyant, you can't be flamboyant. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> saying, <laughs> I'm talking. Okay, sorry, I don't understand what here. you're saying. I'm talking in this way. I don't look to men and what they can give me. I look to what what do I not have? And mm -hmm. that's yeah. not good. Also, and like yeah. black women, yeah. I don't know, it's like, especially black women, we're, we're always so, already strong, uh, strong yeah, already and then strong. masculine. We, we always have this energy of like, mm. we're already masculine and already, yeah. so it's like, no. They're having their feminine energy. <laughs> it's not gonna help me. No, you know, that's feminine feminine energy. So what about lesbians? Oh. You can have two feminine also, energy. No, but I'm, I'm just I'm not what, though. So I, I'm just saying, I'm know, just saying that can wait, work. I'm just talking one about one for me in person. I'm just trying to understand why you need feminine and masculine. That's can my I just ask, disconnect. Can I say this? My mom told me, if you were a boy, I would send you to your father. Because I think that at a certain age, he would be able to properly prepare you as a man in this country. My dad told me straight up, he said, if you were a guy, I would be, I'm so glad you're a girl because I would have been so much harder on you. It taught me how to be softer. And that's what the, that is a feminine, me being a woman, a young woman taught him how to be soft because that feminine injury, he wants to protect me. Listen, you can date whoever you want. Anybody, if I'm feminine, if you're somebody who's feminine, you want to date another feminine person, you're allowed to. So I don't really think that there's a rule for a dating. There needs to be a masculine. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that if we just continue going on with like, Everyone, yeah, the path that we're going that all, like, all, just let everybody be feminine and all the women just step into masculinity. What's it's gonna like, happen? What's the worst that could happen? Well, we I have a chaotic world. Yeah, like we're doing right I wanna now. Know what that's what's happening happen. right now. It's chaotic. Will the world turn on fire? Mm -hmm. I like, I, 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 I get you know, a little focus won't be on families. You know, focus won't be on their families, their children. They're gonna have How can't you focus a, an absent with mom. Energy? For example, if you're a woman who's like working and you're not in the household, then who's gonna take care of your children? A nanny, a daycare, no. a preschool. That's why it's so bad. That's why, that's why it's wrong, because why would you have a, another person Stranger. raise your own children? It's you know? wrong because I'm trying to work and I'm trying to provide for my family and there's nothing wrong with giving my kid another opportunity to do so. In this conversation, we have white feminists answering questions in contrast to women of color, anti-feminists. And what you see being communicated on the women of color, anti-feminist side is that these women are fighting for the rights, essentially, that white women were given outright without asking. You know, while white women are in a space of fighting for things beyond what they traditionally received, such as being able to stay at home and take care of the kids while their men go out and work, go out and do all the laborious things outside of the domestic life and bring money home to them. Black women and, a, and just women of color in general. Well, I can't even say women of color in general, and I'm gonna touch on that later. But we had a black woman on the panel who said something really profound for me. And this is also what triggered this. She said that black women traditionally in the United States were always working. There wasn't a black women stay at home while their men go out and get money and bring it home to them while they nurture and raise their kids. When you think about slavery, black women were working just as hard as black men. So when you look at feminism from that perspective, a black woman is not working for equal rights in the sense of being able to go out and work just like her man once did. She's already doing that. She wants the luxury of being able to stay at home and focus on raising her children, not being out in the field, working a laborious job, not in a warehouse, working a laborious job because white women were already 
awarded that and faced those problems that came with it, such as being with not, I, I imagine not all, but having women, white women who were in relationships and marriages with men who wielded that over them, abused them, kept them trapped in their relationships and marriages due to the fact that she couldn't go out and make her own money. And so leaving an abusive relationship would mean having nothing, not being able to take care of her kids, so on and so forth. Their aspect or their view of feminism goes beyond simply just having that basic need met of being able to rest in her femininity and stay at home and take care of and nurture the kids. So white feminists on this panel in particular are so focused on being independent of their white men and being able to choose whether or not they want to rest in their femininity or take on more masculine traits that they can't see that women of color don't necessarily have an issue with resting in their femininity. Women of color are fine with the yin and yang of masculine, feminine, the idea of being at home and the sole focus is taking care of your children and keeping the house up. They can't wrap their minds around it. And it seems like the desire to have that in their lives as women of color is a threat to their movement of going beyond that. This is why I said I feel like there's so much difficulty in certain people being able to stand in solidarity with others when they can only see what their issues are. They only choose to prioritize their issues and anything that comes in that they feel is a threat to their movement is suddenly invalidated. Mind you, I'm over here spitballing. I don't have anything written down. I don't have anything researched. This is purely my thoughts on this. But I also think about, for instance, this new wave of Black women wanting to live a soft life. Black women wanting to take on more traditional roles, such as being a stay-at-home wife and mom. I myself am a stay-at-home wife and mom. And although one could say there are challenges that comes with staying at home and choosing to raise the children that we bear, I feel like you could say that about anything. Because if you decide that you want to work full time, that means the amount of time that you would be spending with your kids is now going towards working that full-time job and your kids are left being taken care of in a daycare, in a preschool by someone else. I'm not saying that is wrong, but I'm saying everything comes with its pros and cons. And to sit and invalidate another group because you're so focused on the cons of the privilege that you already have, it just feels disingenuous then to say you truly support them and their needs in the feminist movement. And this is why you see women of color who push back on the notion of being feminist. Black women, particularly African-American Black women in the United States, their ancestry traces back here in the U.S. to them always having to work, having to even do the work of raising white women's children, giving up their bodies for these children, breastfeeding, cooking, cleaning, minding them in general. So as an African-American Black woman, your idea of feminism is being able to rest, is not having to juggle both the weight of bearing children, taking care of them, cooking, cleaning, doing other mentally laborious things, and then on top of that, going out and working. You know, that's not the idea of being feminist for a black woman. 
And for some women of color who do already have the luxury in other countries of being able to stay at home and raise her kids, and that is her role in that society, it's not even so much that she's fighting for the right to go out and work too. Her idea of equality is simply being able to have an equal say in the finances or simply being able to say, hey, because I'm being mistreated in this marriage, I have the right to walk away. If you can't honor me and what it really means to be married, I wanna be able to say, okay, I want a divorce. Like seeing traditional roles like in Western society is looked down upon, but no, I wanna be able, like I, in Islam, men are the leader of the households and I'll give that to him, the respect to him and allow him to lead me and my family as long as he does it and he respectfully. fulfills respectfully mm -hmm. and he does it within his rights that he's, that's God given. And the moment he steps out of the boundaries and disrespects my rights and doesn't mm -hmm. give me my rights as a Muslim woman and a wife, then, then I no longer have to follow yeah. his lead and his command and what he says because mm -hmm. I wanna be like, I wanna be in my feminine energy. I wanna be soft, I wanna be sensitive. I wanna be a woman and stay in my role as a woman. Editing Ai here, just wanted to note that I finished the video and I, I looked at the comments because I always wanna see how people are reacting to it. And I saw that what seems to be primarily white people commenting and talking down on the women of color anti-feminists basically saying that they don't get that being a feminist allows women the right to choose whatever lifestyle that they want to live and they also commented on the middle eastern young lady talking about andrew tate converting to islam and how we shouldn't judge him or whatever now i just want to say i don't necessarily agree with us suddenly just ignoring the damage that andrew tate has done just because he has converted but she also made it clear that she isn't that familiar with andrew tate she only knows of him converting and that's pretty much where that stops at so i i can see she was speaking from an ignorant place but nonetheless i just want to say it is disheartening seeing these comments because it just goes to show how people just willfully choose to misunderstand when women of color are trying to talk about their experiences and their needs. One of the women tried to flip it and say that she feels like she's advocating for the needs of all women and she feels like the anti-feminist side is basically being selfish and is only focused on their needs and doesn't want to fight for her rights while simultaneously saying later on in the video that some feminists can just be overbearing because they're so self-serving and focused on their needs alone and not the needs of others. And that's exactly what this video is about. It's like she, once again, she, she can't see beyond herself. She can't even see that she herself is so focused on her rights and her needs that she's trying to push for that she's constantly dismissing and downplaying the needs of her fellow women on the other side of this conversation. I, I just wanna say, we right here, I know not all feminists, and I understand that, are fighting for all women to live their life however they want, but it seems to be in this conversation that I don't want to group all of you, but some of you are not fighting for my choice as a woman to not submit to my husband. I would not want to do that. No, I would never have I, a husband. I just said that. I wish, sure. So yeah. then I wasn't trying to group all of you. Okay. Some, of, okay. some of you on this side, it does seem to be like, you wouldn't fight for the kind of woman I would want to be. To me as a whole, and saying something hinders or something, you know, is, is stop. That means that I'm against women. That means that you're saying that because I'm an anti-feminist. No. Well, that's that's kind of like, you know, what I, I take from it. Because even, you know, you guys, Andrew Tate, just pearly things. Or whoever, even though I disagree with many of them, <laughs> they they have reasons to whatever they can say, just like you have reasons to what you say. I can let many things fly that don't apply to me, but it still looks bad to me. It still looks bad on my person and my community and me as a woman. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think that maybe it can come off as very demeaning and dismissive, and that's what's already the problem in feminism. Exactly. You, make a, you make a really good point. Like, genuinely, there are, I've been in so many feminist spaces where I'm just embarrassed, 100%. Yeah. I mean, anti-feminist too, though. Really I'm, I'm being honest. There are some so very why, radical why, things. Why is that? Yeah. Um, because they're just the loudest, and they're so, everything's self-serving. If you're in it for you, <clears throat> this fight isn't for you. It is for you, you're a woman, yeah. but there are people who this fight is, is more for. I think that's okay to, to when we're talking about intersectionality, to put things on a spectrum no, and to say- I don't think so. You don't think so? No, you don't because think the problem- My needs as a woman, 
it should be fought for as much as a black woman's. No, I, I this, don't. This, no, I don't think there should be, because that's to me the problem. There is already a spectrum in the, the feminist movement. We're trying to create the most, the biggest, the biggest movement or the biggest fight that's going against women where we should just bring women together mm -hmm. and say, what are you going through? What are you yes, going through? Exactly. And it should, sure. that's to me, that's the, what some people the are spectrum. Trying to community level, like I, I, yeah, I just feel like that's the problem. The spectrum or what's, there should be no, no black woman should be over, or, or no white woman or to me, like you said, even Middle Eastern, there should be no group of people that have a higher highlight because yeah, by doing so that, right. oh, so, so you're saying like creating the groups is creating more division? Exactly. Yeah, I did. When I talk about being able to see beyond ourselves, if white feminists really want to show and prove that it's not just about them, you have to make space for the other women whose needs aren't the same as yours. And you have to understand that just because we fight to meet the needs of everyone doesn't mean it takes away the ability to fight for your needs. It's not just about you. And I know that hurts to hear, but the truth of the matter is when it comes to intersectionality, when it comes to standing in solidarity, that means you have to be willing to fight for the most oppressed because guess what? You fighting for them is a domino effect to your liberation. I doubt this will be the last time I talk about something like this. And I also hope that people are now understanding why we are in an era where more women, like I said, particularly women of color, are desiring a traditional dynamic in their household, in their relationships. Black women have been working hard for a long time in this country. The idea of only having to worry about what's going on in the house provides a certain level of ease and relief. So while some may feel like this is taking huge steps back, understand that this could actually mean we're taking steps forward for a marginalized group and we can still equally fight for the rights of others who may have, once again, other needs. That's all I have for now. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.